Larissa. What's up? Good afternoon, Larissa. How are you feeling today? All right. Great? All right. <laughs> All right. Larissa, you know, this, my name is ATM Ray uh, from All Time Media. We out here in the streets of Kensington right now. Who brought you out here, Larissa? Um, dealing with the loss in my, in my life. Okay. Gra a loss. Grieving. Grieving right now. Yeah. yeah. How old are you, Larissa, if you don't mind me asking? Turned 41 yesterday. Okay. 41? Yeah. Yesterday? Yeah. Happy belated birthday, Larissa. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, well, happy belated birthday, Larissa. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, you turned 41 yesterday, correct? Yeah. What you do for your birthday? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Nothing? Why is that? What is there to do out here? Was you, oh, you was out here. There's nothing to do is out here. Is this where you, like, living at? I've been out here since 2015. Since I came back from the Midwest after I got separated from my husband and yeah. I lost. Okay, so you broke up with the husband? Yeah, in 2007 I got clean. I moved to the Midwest and uh, I was out there until 2013. And um, when I moved back out here, um, I relapsed and um, wasn't doing too good. and. Um, I had a therapy dog that I got in 2007, 2008, and she died tragically. And she got killed by a king corso. All right, so you had a therapy dog. And yeah, I got her in 2008, and uh, when I moved out, at, after I had got a year clean, my uh, the guy that I ended up marrying, he said, if you get a year clean, I'll move you out to the Midwest, and, and we can start our life over again. Where and, we, what? I'm sorry, where were you at in the Midwest? Um, in Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. Okay, shout out Missouri. You know. So, um, I was out there and when she died, she was only five pounds. Your dog? Yeah, and I was taking her for a walk one day and all of a sudden the fence busted through and the dog came and he grabbed her by her neck oh, and he man. drug her under and he killed her. And it was really tragic for me and I... Ever since I I just gotten back from here, from there, dealing with you know separating from my husband and had a new have finally had a family, um, you know, and was out of this shit, and I just said screw it and I came and moved down here and literally stepped on the streets on the streets of Kensington and I've been down here ever since. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. Therapy dog, um, I give it to you. Dogs are really like family members, you know what I'm saying? She was my and, family. And, and, and some some dogs, they they know what you're going through. She knows. She knew what everybody was going you know through. I'm saying? She helped everybody. Yeah, you know. So. So. You know, I feel I just, for you I, with that. Just have had a lot going on, and then just. And once again, you know, it was loud. Can you speak on um how your dog might, might have died again for one more time? I was. Those, I got her in 2007, 2008 when I. That's when I moved out to Kansas City, and mm -hmm. like I, she went with me everywhere. I, I mean, every day, all day, she was with me when I traveled anywhere, everywhere. And she like she really just helped lift my spirits up. And in 2015, I was taking her for a walk, and she was up like by a fence, and all of a sudden the fence busted through, mm. and this dog came and he grabbed her from from underneath. And he drug her back into his, his like, cage. And he killed her. And she was, like, she was barely hanging on. And I pounded on the people's door, and I'm like, help me, help me. My baby's in there. You know, my dog, I need help. And they're like, get the F off my property. And uh, I said, I need my dog. And they threw her out to me. And um, one of my friends took her, to the S took her to the vet with me. And they said she was dead. And there's nothing that we could do about it. Um, so I just, I literally have been down here since like four or five days after that, maybe maybe a week at tops. I don't remember. My, my life has just been nothing ever since then. Yeah. Larissa, it's a lot going on right now, so I'm going to wrap it up. 
you know, you out here, you homeless, you're getting high. It's heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking. We interviewed a lot of people, Larissa. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to say thank you for your honesty and your courage to get in front of this camera and talk because it's not easy. And I support you and I respect you and I'm rooting for you. All time media is rooting for you. You fighting a long fight. Your birthday was yesterday. I feel like your birthday should have been celebrated a lot better than this. This hell hole out here. It, 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 it breaks my heart. It, it, it breaks my heart though. One last thing before you wrap it up, man. What would you tell the youth that's getting hard, that's homeless, that's boosting, that's prostituting, that's doing bad, that's outside, that's outside living wrong? What advice would you give their kids, Larissa? We gotta get some support. Speak to the root of the problem. Yeah. Larissa, I want. Yeah. Larissa, I want to thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interviewee. All time media. At ATM Re. Praying for you, alright? We're rooting for you. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.